What's going on guys, it is Jamie, it's Reboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of the videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub to on my channel. So, Billy Joe Saunders' WBO middleweight title defence against Martin Murray has been postponed because Billy Joe Saunders has apparently picked up a hand injury during a training session and scheduled fight for April the 14th will now be on June the 23rd, still at the O2 Arena in London. And on this undercard, we was meant to see Terry Flanagan versus Maurice Hooker for the vacant WBO um, light welterweight title, but apparently that fight is being rescheduled also, and it's going to be at a different venue on a different date, because obviously Terry Flanagan can't sell out the O2 Arena on himself. So, you know what I mean? Billy Joe Saunders has quote unquote picked up this hand injury. He hasn't broke his hand or anything like that. He's just said that he's hurt his hand. So we don't know what the damage is that Billy Joe Saunders has done to his hand during this training session. All he said is that he felt that his hand went during the session and then he went to get medical treatment straight away for it. And a lot of people are speculating. I saw Hatman say on his channel that the fight is postponed down to, well, the fight might be. Um, postponed down to ticket sales that the fight might not have been selling very well because at the end of the day we know Billy Joe Saunders versus Martin Murray is a foregone conclusion in a lot of people's eyes like I saw a poll on Facebook not long ago someone put up a boxing poll on a group and said who is going to win between Billy Joe Saunders and Martin Murray and I think Martin Murray got like one vote out of like 50 people you know what I mean so, it is a foregone conclusion. To me, it's a foregone conclusion because Martin Murray is a solid fighter, but he's just not on the level of a Billy Joe Saunders, in my opinion. Like, Martin Murray, he comes, he's game, he'll come to fight. He's a tough fight for anyone at middleweight and super middleweight, like George Groves found that out, and people like that, Sergio Martinez, even though I thought he beat Sergio Martinez all them years ago in Argentina. But, you know what I mean... He's had his days, Martin Murray. He's seen better days. He's on the tail end of his career now, where, whereas Billy Joe Saunders seems to be hitting his peak, especially after his last performance against David Lemieux, in which he put on a 12-round shutout masterclass. And Martin Murray is a little bit better than David Lemieux, in my opinion. Obviously, he's not as dangerous, but in terms of boxing ability and stuff like that, he's a little bit more clued up. Well, a lot more clued up than David Lemieux, because David Lemieux is terrible in terms of boxing skill and stuff like that. All that guy does is have fantastic punching power and that's what he does have so you know what I mean I expect Martin Murray to lose the fight to Billy Joe Saunders when they do get it on on June 23rd but it was a fight I just wanted to see and just get it done with you know what I mean but to be honest it's not even a fight I really wanted to see it's just a fight that was happening I was probably going to watch it but now we've got to wait till June 23rd to see Billy Joe Saunders in my eyes beat Martin Murray and send him into retirement because Martin Murray says He's going to retire from boxing after the... Well, if he loses the fight, he'll retire from boxing. And, yeah, there is speculation that tickets might have not been selling very well. And I can understand that if it is true. Because, at the end of the day, like I said, this fight's a foregone conclusion. Like, people are going to be paying money to come see Billy Joe Saunders beat Martin Murray. Like, the fight, in my opinion, won't be very competitive. And it's not like a 50-50 there. Can't pick and fight like the Chris Eubank Jr., George Groves fight was um, in February, this fight, you know what I mean, everyone seems to be going with Billy Joe Saunders, so it is what it is, Billy Joe Saunders, he might have picked up a legit injury, apparently he's bruised his hand or something like that, this is what people are saying as well, and I understand him not taking the fight on the medical advice and saying that he can't punch for four weeks, but you know what I mean, we'll all see the fight eventually, and it is what it is at the end of the day, so comment below, it's JM, it's Speed Boxing.